Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, I got a few questions that came through because manufacturers, Microsoft, you know, they all talk about Windows 10 kind of uh, in a negative way now because they want you to move on and they want to make sure that you go on Windows 11 because that's the place to be, according to them. Uh, and also add to some of the comments themselves that I see on the channel. So, first of all, the first question that comes to mind is one that I've seen several times about people that are on Windows 11, find it great, love it, and keep telling me that I'm kind of, you know, uh, bashing Windows 11 a little, that I'm ranting against it when it's the greatest operating system ever. Um, you know, to put things straight, Windows 11 is good. It's okay. Is it the greatest? I don't call that the greatest. You know what, for me, um, I've had several great Windows versions that I loved. Windows XP was amazing. Uh, Windows 7 was amazing. And I do put Windows 10 in that category of an amazing operating system. I see a lot of people saying, oh, well, Windows 10 was trash. I never liked it. Um, you know, without any comments, I, it's, uh, these are more negative people that just trash for trashing and that's it. I know that the majority of people on Windows 10 loved it and love it. It is a great operating system, and it was amazing for the time that it lasted. Unfortunately, it's going away. We will we'll have to accept that, that uh, you know, we're near the end. Um, so it's simply the fact that I totally understand people not wanting to move on, and a majority of people don't care about a new Windows. They just want a working PC. Uh, and I'm here not to push anything. I'm here to just say it as it is. And uh, that's it. You know? It's like those Linux trashers and that the, 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 the fanboys that actually tell me that I'm, you know, uh, pro Windows and that's it. Well, wake up and look at the reality of things rather than living in your own little fantasy world. Uh, because it's obvious you're living in your own fantasy world. So um, that's it. It's I'm here to talk about what people love and what people want, not talk about you know pushing anyone to Windows 11 or anything. I like Windows 11. I totally understand people liking Windows 10 and wanting to be there and stay there. The other question about security. Um, a lot of um, you know, posts have been done with this about uh, not just from Microsoft itself telling you time and time again how Windows 11 is so much more secure that you need to be there. And even the manufacturers, Dell, HP, and all of that, wanting to, to sell PCs with Windows 11, telling you, you know, if you keep using Windows 10, you're left behind in the top-notch security that you can have. It ain't exactly really true, honestly. Okay, let's face the fact that Windows 11 isn't really more secure than 10. That's it. Okay, it's the same thing. Stop thinking that a new Windows is safer than the one before. It's never been the case, and it's not the case today. Okay, Windows, when well used, and when you do what I tell you to do, Make sure it's up to date and you be careful what you do. It's very secure. But Windows 11 is not going to make, make you more secure in any way. Stop thinking about that and do not believe what they're saying with that. Ain't true. Okay? Uh, the other question that comes to mind is, well, you know, if I continue using Windows 10 with um, paying with the, you know, the updates for security... Um, you know, a lot of companies apparently are going to stop supporting. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Windows 10 is such high in numbers. It's still going to be pretty high in numbers when we get to October. It's obvious. So uh, what is interesting to look at here is that manufacturers, say of the browsers, for example, um, you know, Google Chrome, which is the most popular, but every other browser out there, 
they will continue supporting Windows 10 with uh, in the next year. A lot of the software you use will still continue having updates also for Windows 10. It will, of course, drop off at some point. You know, when I see people talking about the long-term support version of Windows 10, yeah, it's all nice, but you will not be using the long-term support version of Windows 10 securely until 2032, especially if you use third-party software and all of that, because the browsers and the software are all going to stop issuing updates for security. You're not going to be uh, uh, using Windows 10 until 2032 safely you will have to change at some point. And that point, well, it all has to do with the market share, how many people will be left every month and and year after year. So if you use zero patch, for example, zero patch will give you updates for a, a certain amount of years, but how many years? Once again, it will all be a numbers game because zero patch makes money on this. So of course, if the numbers for Windows 10 are too low, then it does not become interesting to continue. So um, you can use it for a while, how long? Probably at least a couple of years, that's for sure, especially with zero patch. And But as time when it goes by, the companies that are making software are going to stop supporting Windows 10. It will happen at some point. As for um, the, uh, the rest, you know, um, will I continue to do what I want? Even after the end, with um, you know the 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 uh, updates that are going to be paid updates for security, it's not going to change anything. You're just going to have the regular monthly you know security updates, which by the way will be a little different from what the updates are going to be on Windows 11, for example. You will start getting the important. Uh, security updates, the ones that matter and no extras. While Windows 11 can have extras and changes uh, with updates, like Windows 10. Windows 10 can have security updates, but they might add or change a little thing here or there within that update too. Um, starting with the paid update, it's going to be security updates only, and that's it. A zero patch is even more precise. They will actually patch what's important to patch, not everything. So, you know, it all depends what's going to be out there to fix. But whatever you do, yep, Windows 10 is still here. Um, there will be, and that's going to be interesting, I'm, I'm sure a pretty good number of people continuing with paid updates. And um, we'll see how long that will actually um, add to the number of years for Windows 10 to continue its uh, life cycle. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.